this. This is to protect. This is to protect the hose. But see, it's not bonded. It's not glued to it. So water gets in there. So what you find is over 50 years, the water gets inside here, and that's all rust. Wow. Okay. Because whenever you crimp something, you fracture it. And over the years, the water got into the fractures and rusted. This is how you know that this is, well, I know it's the original hose because it's rounded here. All the aftermarkets are square. And, but you definitely know because it's bulged up on the ends. This is not too bad. Some of them they're huge, waiting to pop loose, because that's how that's how they're held in there. So that's why we're replacing these. I know it's 50 years old because it's rounded right now. 50 year old brake line. Yeah. That's craziness. That's wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead and pull that other one out, and we'll get the new ones in there. That's you, bud. <laughs> it's all you, man. Let's go, Corbin. I did not hear that. I promise. I, I did not hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I did not hear that. It should be clocked just right where it goes in there. Yeah. Okay, put your clip in there. Now, what you may want to do is to is to loosen, tighten, I mean, put the, the line in first before you put the clip because that gives you a way to wiggle it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Right. Okay. You got your wrench? Is it, is it a 3 8 uh, yeah. Here's, it's, a, here's an open. Well, it's open. The other yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I had him come grab it. Let's see. And that one started. Yeah, get him started. And snug them. Then we'll put the pins in. I don't care what you're doing. Snug them down to where it feels like it's, you know, getting ready to tighten. Don't try to tighten it because okay. uh, <clears throat> when you get it tight, when you get the pin in there and it's solid, then you can tighten it. Got some here. Here's a hammer. Let me bang it down. That's it. Great, thanks. You did good. You get that you get that first one threaded before you put the bolt in. I can't believe it went right in. Really, 50 year old brake lines came loose. Tighten loosen. Tighten loosen. Yep. Yeah, I should have a lock washer on the top somewhere. Right there. Yep, you're all set. Is the nut just welded on the bottom? No, it's threaded right into the bogey. Okay. You have a nine sixteenths wrench.
actually 50 years, I think it deserves it. These are Teflon lined. You know why you use Teflon hoses? Because they don't swell. A rubber hose, when you really push down on it, you get about 12 or 1500 PSI. And a rubber hose will swell up. Her down. Yep. And it like you can get that tight, that middle that bolt, that uh, bolt tight. That will give you something to pull on. Is that center bolt tight? Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, tighten it all down. Take it on down. But every one of these motorhomes you run into has got original hoses because they could not replace them. Like a you know, regular mechanic does a brake job, but he couldn't replace that hose. So he looks at it and he says, well, it's not leaking. We'll just leave it. Well, they left it for 50 years. big problem in a Chevy, I don't know about Ford or anything else, but one of the big problems is the brake hoses start to swell. Yeah, Chevy brake lights. Huh? Chevy brake lights. So. Yep. Well, the front ones are bad too. So we get a full set of Teflon line ho uh, hoses is just about a, a required on every coach. Well, if you want to go pull the clamps off the other side. Uh, okay. Finish this one. <coughs> Get a screwdriver. Like this one too. Let's see. And we're going to get a screwdriver on this. Okay, bud. Good luck. Getting this ready for him in the next class. <clears throat> Come in and succeed. And what is the next class about? Same thing. Just another class of the same kids. Or the different kids. Well, then tell me what it is. We're going to be doing this. We're going to be putting on brake hoses, and then we're going to be putting in a quad back system. There you go. Yeah. We were very fortunate. He's broke loose. I can't believe it. But I had to go get a line wrench. That's the key. It's having this wrench with that slot in the middle. Oh. It's called a line wrench.
Gaskets here. I'll show them that. 